Up at the very top of QuickShow, you have two main windows and states of QuickShow. The first being local. This is where you'll spend most of your time, where you create your content, organize, and operate your shows. This group of content, which we call queues, saves in what we call the workspace. On the top, you have some options for how to interact with this content. You select just to select queues from the workspace, toggle to trigger queues on or off on click, restart to restart queues on click, flash to flash the queues on click down, Next to that, we have our transition button. Toggle this on to enable transitions between queues. You can right click on this button to choose which transition type is your default transition type. Then besides that, we have selection of one queue, multi-queue, or groups. One queue means one queue will be allowed to play back at once, multi-queue means multiple queues will be allowed to play at once, and groups is a new and more advanced way to control lasers in QuickShow and is covered in a separate video. You can also right click on these for more options, one queue, you can decide if you want one queue per workspace or one queue per projection zone. Under multi queue, you can right click and decide how many queues per grid you would like to be able to output. The BPM clock is where you set how fast BPM based queues and effects will run. You can either tap this window to tap a BPM, hit the space bar to tap a BPM, or right click on this button to manually enter a BPM. Use a slider or multiplier to divide your current value. Below that, there are some options. Enable MIDI input to set BPM means you can use MIDI devices to set BPM. Enable Virtual DJ to set BPM means you can use our Virtual DJ plugin to assign BPM automatically. Hard Beat Sync means it will not add physics to your cues and bring them into beat, but immediately reposition their timing to your new tapped beat. Virtual LJ will automatically play your cues in your workspace based on BPM. Right click to change some options like randomization, how long each cue plays, and more. On the top, you have your pages to your workspace. You can also create categories to group your pages. To create a category, right-click on any of the categories and add new category. To assign pages to categories, you can right-click on a page, page properties, and select a category. This will color it to its category color. You can also add new pages while right-clicking on any page and clicking add new page and name it. This will take the category of whatever page you right-clicked on to create a new page. By default, your grid is organized showing keyboard shortcuts for your cues. To change this, go to View, Queue, and you can select how they are displayed, from keyboard or their indexes. I prefer to keep them as indexes. Here you can also change the grid size from 10 by 6 to 8 by 8, if you have a different MIDI controller or a different aspect ratio display. To save your workspace, and thus your grid, go to File, Save Workspace As, and save it to a file. One last thing I want to show you is how to make sure content can output to lasers. Click on a queue you want to select, or use Control A on your keyboard to select every queue in a page. Then right click on the selected queues, queue properties, and under destination, you want to make sure your queues go to the projection zones you would like by moving the zone you want to the left list. By default, all content in the workspace is mapped to the default zone file based on the type of content it is. From there, you can click the queue and it'll output where it's set to go. Thank you for watching our QuickInst video on the local area of QuickShow. If you still need help, you can contact our support line by emailing support at pangolin.com and we'll help you as soon as possible.